Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Noah again. I'm just going to make a really quick video about retopology um, just to help out a little bit, maybe with some people that are having frustration because I know myself personally was uh, really frustrated um, when it came down to retopologizing retopologizing? or the retopology of fingers and toes. Um, what I mean is, is that there are a lot of different programs, a lot of different ways to do it and all of them you know, it's all leading to the same thing, the same end result, but it's just how long it's going to take you to get there. Um, I've used different programs. I've used 3ds Max. I've used certain scripts like Rapid to do retopology, and it didn't work. I've used complete different program like um, uh, 3D Code, and 3D Code just didn't work. I mean, I was drawn to 3D Code for its ability to do auto retopology, but come to find out that it really didn't work good on um, imported. Uh, models um, like it seemed like if you made a voxel model then it would work perfectly like if it was uh, in kind of in store or in-house type thing but anything that would seem like it was imported even go through the auto topology wizard we're able to paint on extra vertices and whatnot I mean I had things missing the, the arms would be missing the wrists would be missing it was just ridiculous um, even using the um, like the, what is it, the uh, retopology room where you had like the points and the quads and the strokes and all this other, you know, stuff. It just didn't seem like it was working. It was taking me days, you know, to do retopology like on, on actually this model as opposed to it taking, you know, minutes if not maybe an hour, an hour or two, you know, pushing it. So, like I said, I was using 3D code for maybe a week and just not seeing jack squat. Um, and then I just went ahead and just made the switch to Topple Gun, and I've been using it for maybe like half a day, day and a half, excuse me. And I've gotten much more results, a lot more cleaner, nicer results. Um, and I'm not saying that, oh, you know, Topple Gun is better than 3D Coat, but for my tents and purposes, yeah, it, it it's freaking apples to oranges, man. I mean, it does a lot better for me. So, um, let me show you what I'm talking about. Um... Uh, let me just go ahead and take that out real quick. All right, let me zoom in on this character's hand. This character is, I want to say, kind of like a zombie type. Maybe just got really messed up by zombies or she's infected. I don't know. I haven't figured out the backstory to this one yet. Um, but as you can see, the symmetry is not on yet. Um, I like to do basically just the whole thing at first and then add symmetry on, but that's not what we're doing in this video we're just gonna go ahead and show you how to do fingers really fast and fingers and toes are pretty much the same thing I mean um, well they're full well you know what I'm saying anyway um, this is version 2.0 all right version 1.6 doesn't have these extra three options these three options are tubes uh, brushes and extrude um, extrude is basically grabbing a group of edges and just basically pulling them out even further um, and then you've got brush brush is basically being able to highlight or pull you know a, a bunch of vertices um, using like a pen tablet and you can even use your mouse I believe I haven't really messed around with it but um, I believe you can and then tubes and tubes basically is gonna work in your favor because when you're doing arms and you're doing legs the arms and legs and fingers and toes or a type of tube shape okay so it just makes life a lot easier there's no like like surefire quick way of doing anything especially in 3d but it takes the headache you know it, it just makes a lot of pain and crying and frustration go away so let me make sure I, I delete all these faces real quick and I'll just show you how fast I was able to create fingers um, using this let me just make sure everything is in the web so just trying to delete through it. Let me just flip it over. The one thing that I'm having a little bit of difficulty with is just kind of navigating around because I was just using uh, 3D Coat so long that I got used to how to kind of like navigate and swing around there that when it came time to switching, it's just kind of rough. So if I kind of like swing out widely and lose the scene, just kind of bear with me, okay? So. Pinky fingers. You can see their other fingers are done, but I'm just gonna show you real quick how quick it was easy or how quick it was to do the uh, finger. So I just click on tube. It's gonna build my tree real quick, and then um, let me show you how this is going. 
Matter of fact, let me go ahead and just pause this real quick. And I'm gonna continue. Alright, so. We are. Are we back? Yep, yeah, we're back. Alright, so. Um, so, tubes activated. I'm just gonna follow the natural kind of groove of the finger itself. The way it just makes life a little bit easier. Just one there, one there, and one there. And then just click. And there it is. That's pretty freaking awesome. Pretty easy, and it makes life a lot faster. Or a lot, you know what I'm saying. Alright, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw two more. So one here, and one closest to the edge so I can close off the finger with no problem. Right click, and then there it is. Now, to fill these gaps in, I'm just going to use bridge. Oh, bridge. And then, as you can see, it is automatically... Dang it. That's what I'm saying. i got to get used to it. But, um, it's automatically giving me... Edges. There we go. It's giving me my quad. That simple. Oh shoot! See, this is what I haven't gotten used to yet. I've gotten used to the way this sucker just like swings around and moves. But no worries. That's just that's just that comes with practice. So time and practice and infinite freaking patience. But as you can see, really simple really simple to close these off really really easy really simple and the vertices snap a lot better alright let me show you how easy it is to close this finger off now with 3d coat I mean I I just couldn't get it I couldn't get anything to line up I mean I would count my vertices I would count my edges and it still wasn't lining up very well and it was just very 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 frustrating but with 3d um, not 3d shit, yeah right with top of gun I mean, you can see how it pretty much does the work for you. And then there you go. And the cool thing with Top of Gun is it will not make an end gun no matter what you do. And if you do make an end gun, the vertices will not show up. So that way you know, hey, you know, something went wrong because I just it didn't make the um, uh, the face. All right. And then when it comes to the hand, I mean, really simple, really easy. Like I said, I love the way the verts. Or excuse me, the, uh, yeah, the verts um, stick to the surface. So I'm just going to do simple create. I'm just going to kind of find my base vert, which is about right there, and connecting along this line here. So I'm just going to go one, two, three, and kind of go in an S pattern here. Along there, 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 and maybe one there. I'll figure that out later if it works. If not, just go back, just go to bridge. Now you can kind of see how it'll make a triangle for you. Um, like I said, that's not a big deal because you can just, with the steady hand, you can make your quad really easy. And if they're kind of screwy, you know, if they're not lined up the way you want it to, you know, then you can just go through and then just re. Um, realign them as you see fit you know so I mean I don't know how long that was I don't know what my time is maybe five minutes maybe six minutes talking but it went a lot faster I mean this took literally hours to do and this just took minutes okay so I hope that helps you guys if not you know I do apologize hopefully I'll be able to make some other videos um, elaborating a little bit more on Top of Gun. Later.